Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Gears 5. Pretty cool emblem on that Marska triangle with some UIR. I think it's called the UIR. Oh, I cannot activate the map now. Uh, text on it. Anyways. Not sure whether I fully did my intro already. Man, I'm really like distracted in my mind uh, today. Anyways, welcome to a new episode in the playthrough of Gears 5. Heading out. Ah, the bull talk. Look like that one. I mi missed that one. Because it's apparently pretty effective in this game. And the Talon... Not so much, in my opinion. Alright! Well, you pulled it! Look who's here! You got a Scion! And it's got a bastard! Come on, put these assholes down! <laughs> Ah, I actually didn't want to get him. Ah, I didn't get him. Good work. Good work, Del. Proud of you. Let's see if we can get that Scion. Thanks for the assist, Jack. Nope. Doesn't look I can take him. Alright, what to do? We gotta deal with that side on. Yes, I need to take out the basilisk. Let's get that Scion. I cannot target him. There's a pretty big weapon over there. Pretty much headshotting away over here. Nice. Headshotting away. The Marska is pretty handy weapon. More bullets. 
Last bullet. Okay, Very nice. Wiped clean. I'm aware of how that sounded. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. What the hell is this? A cryo cannon. Screw that. Don't really see much use in that one over here. But of course, I'm not sure what will be next up. So maybe it's safe to just take tag it along. It might come in handy. The problem is, as soon as I hit a boss fight where it might come in handy, and I died the first time. What the hell is this? Ah, okay. Then, um... When the game reloads, I think special weapons you're carrying actually... They get cleared. So... That's like an astronaut inside the floor an astronaut suit so actually this whole carrying the heavy weapon is only useful for i think the first time the first try with that boss because after the first death the weapon won't be there anymore. I'm going with the Mulcher. Prefer that one above the cryo weapon. But you never know. Maybe we will encounter an enemy that is really on me up here. Susceptible to freeze, but I always have like Jack's flash freeze ability. I did like these like intermediate encounters not too hard not too easy all right that's where we can go in and this is where we came from right yes so that's locked off or no use getting there and this is probably the rocket building facility or some sorts there's something we can open up And probably there will be a bigger fight over there. But let's see when we get there. Ah, security cameras. Feel like Sam Fisher again. By the way, I think it's also time again for Ubisoft to bring out a kick-ass Sam Fisher game. It's really since, I don't know, Splinter Cell 3 or 4 that it really went down the drain that series a bit. Even though the last one did capture some of the aura of the um, oh, very popular first suit. ones. How advanced was the UIR space program? So it did capture somewhat of its magic, but I think the earlier games, like the 1, 2 and 3 maybe of Splinter Cell, the later games never really... Um, reach that level of uh, enjoyable gaming but maybe it's also me getting older i don't know nothing here it seems so let's get on with the next objective or next encounter I guess you're not allowed to swim in here why would that warning be here now you can hardly see it maybe on the YouTube video but I can barely make it out but there's a sign like no, it's a sign saying divers. I'm not sure whether it's like a 
forbidden here it is what the hell is up with that like divers ah uh, that's probably like those simulations for our zero g that they do with their swimming pools and stuff ah there is actually is that like water no it's sand i have no idea what that dive thingy means sign Right, we have something over there that Jack can interact with, I assume. Jack, activate that crate. All right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? You got it. All right, now what? Do yeah. that one, Jack. Ah, there's a room over there. Clearing the way. Oops, well, that, that didn't work. work. Then we try another one. Already did that. Man, I really feel like games of old somehow. This game really does capture that Xbox 360 era gaming fun a bit. Of course, with way better graphics, so I'm really happy. Although I am a bit spoiled now with the whole ray tracing thing, but in control. That will be my next playthrough. Looks amazing. Alright, we need another one lifted, Jack. You tell me where the control unit is. There it is. Let's do it again. Ah, what's this? Would be a really good location to hide something over here. Ah, ah fuck. Ah, shit. Did we have, like, a checkpoint? All right. So, all the exits are blocked. Now what? All right, I cannot, I wanted to roll out of the way, but I cannot do that with the um, weapon equipped. Jack. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. All right, for the next encounter, I'm using Shock Trap. You got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. That worked. Alright, but there were more guys coming down. Oh, this was it? Very nice. I thought I saw more guys. 
coming down. All right, so Shock Trap is pretty effective against uh, Rejects. Which I, by the way, find a totally stupid name for infected DBs. How can we get into this little room? I would really like to be able to access this one. Ah, there's a door over there, right? So it's on the other side. Ah, but we couldn't get there because I think... That's where this is blocking the way, right? Yes, that's a bummer. Because I want those components. God damn it. Also what I keep forgetting, if, if you're sprinting with the A button, you don't need to push the left thumbstick forward. So that really frees up your thumb to uh, sweep the weapons or something. I used to always press forward and keep A pressed, but that's not necessary at all. Alright, I guess we need to lower this one. Where? There, there it is. Hello guys, are you following? Anyways, sprinting with A and keeping the thumbstick forward really gives you limited functionality. Like, it's all like every action you do almost is in sequence instead of parallel. So it's really nice that you can actually remove your thumb from the thumbstick to control the D-pads for weapon changes and stuff. It's something actually that's probably in all the Gears of War games up until now and I've only noticed it recently. Come on, we can get out this way. Yes, but first let's check about this room. So not here. Hello. Very nice. And five. Some Marska. No dog tags or anything, just some components and ammunition. I have 11 upgrade points. Shock trap I could do. Cloak. Yes, let's just do. Shall I do an upgrade to cloak? Or revive headshot? Yeah, that's also a good one. That headshot. Cloak, I'm not using that often. By the way, come to think of it, there was this stealth section in the winter area with a warden and a lot of snipers and I took them all out stealthily. I wonder whether I had the cloak ability at that time already. I think I totally forgot about it. I didn't use it. If I already had it at that time, then I made it myself unnecessarily hard by not using it. But cloak, I will... 
Now I will first well, go with the um, Foster. The Foster recharge um, rate of Jack. I will upgrade that next before I do Cloak. And I think there's a pretty big chance a swarm will pop up and infect those DBs. That's my expectation of what's coming up. So what do I need for that? Stim? Yeah. And... Shock Trap. Pretty sure these will turn. Come on, this way. Look out! What? Right, I have some slowdown. Would actually be cool if they would not turn and just hang there, just for... That would also be uh, realistic. They n Almost don't there. all need to become Sector enemies. Ah, stealth section. But there are a lot of weapons here, so I do think that uh, a fight is coming up. Anyways, let's do this one. Ah, no, executions. I hardly do those. That will be a waste. That's a faster recharge when doing executions, but I hardly have any chance to do executions the way I play. Not sure whether it's about my playstyle or it's just in general. There's not so much execution possibility. Um, shall we have Jack heal others? Or a second shock trap? Or faster cloak? Let's see what this one is. Self revive. Uh, I don't mind. Jack is not that often hurt. So let's not use that one. Let's just upgrade. Yeah, there are a lot of DBs here. So maybe it's good to be able to plant a second shock trap. Yes, let's do that. Thank you very much. Right, let's see about this. A GL. And uh, frag grenades. I'm fully loaded up. Do I want that GL instead of the Marsa? I don't know. The GL does have those grenades, huh? Yes, let's just take the GL. I've now used the Mars shot quite a bit. Hang on, we got a straggler. They're on us! Not for long! That shock trap! Take down that reject! They're down! Let's get inside! Man, I really feel like so many options to play it. Pretty cool the, to um, approach a situation. I must say this is uh, graphically quite an impressive section, I must say. And those fan blades are a nice touch. That whole weather system is a nice touch actually, since Gears 4. 
where I think it was introduced. Like the uh, wind flares. Alright, I must say it's all pretty easy from here. We have four levels. I don't really speak um, UIR language. Help me get this so open. I cannot tell you what it says. Okay, we're in. So where the hell are those beacons? Let's check the security cameras. All right, a big uh, stealth section uh, coming up. Look who it is! Oh shit, more of them. What the hell is this? I'm not touching anything before taking out those rejects. Another control panel. Probably I cannot get to them before activating something. Or can I? Nope. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And probably this will not be it. I think it will be complemented with some pouncers or whatever. Would be cool if I can just use shock trap from here. Not sure where he put it. Ah, over there. Alright, we need to open up this door. But first, before the action kicks off. Oops, that's not a good sign. Explosive ammo. Usually that means... An enemy is coming up. A boss. Ah, uh, shit. Juvie pots. Good thing I can use two. A lot of juvie pots. I can use uh, two shock traps simultaneously. That's handy. And. We are, of course, with four dudes instead of only Dell and Kate. And let's just see, because before the action kicks off, I do, of course, need to check for nice collectibles. Anyways, here we go. How does he know the code? Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the castle. Yeah, but how do we get him out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Where's the shot? Well, apparently there's a beacon inside that pot. But not after a pretty big fight, probably. And that's actually a good thing. I'm hitting the 30 minute marker, meaning that I can tackle this fight in the beginning of the next episode. Meaning that each time I fail, I can just stop the recording, discard the footage. Meaning that you will immediately see the successful run in the next episode. Uh, yeah, making it... Um, can I deactivate this one? Let's get that no, thing moving. That's annoying. Uh, meaning that's pretty cool. You don't need to watch me fail all the time, like in some previous encounters. So how the hell do we get down there? That would be here, right? Hmm. 
Do I need to have Jack activate something? Annoying. Because I don't want to have to do this in the next episode. Next episode should be at the start, just the big fight, so that I can immediately. Which panel? Ah, there it is. Alright, what this is do? What did this do? Holy shit, here we go. Please destroy them, centrifuge. Nice! Secure the targeting beacons, trigger the emergency brakes. Alright. Anyways, we'll do that fight in the next episode, guys. I hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed this one. For the meantime, do not forget to keep on gaming. See you later.